So as straightforward as the question might sound, how do I choose my PhD topic? What I should choose? Um, I don't know what I want to do, but so these questions are part of the journey I feel for everybody. Um, again, there is no direct answer for this question. A, how you should go about it and what you should be researching on. It's also very different for STEM departments um, and also very different for the humanities. Um, sometimes in some universities and in some programs, the PhD is run by a professor and if they're working on a specific project, they just want students, they just want PhD students to work in their project and hence your trajectory is very different. You don't have to choose anything on your own um, and instead you just work on something which somebody else is already working on um, and there's sometimes even a team involved. But in the case of humanities, in my experience, since I mean it was from 2021 that I was kind of preparing for the applications and so um, all throughout my drafts uh, while, uh, while applying and also I had applied to universities in India um, and funnily enough it evolves, your topic evolves, your um, research interests vary and um, so there is again no specific way how you should go about it how broad it should be or how narrow it should be um, having said that since phd is a research on something niche um, they want you to have a topic universities or professors want you to have a topic which is doable within the given time frame if your program is for three years if your program is for four years five years um, they want you to take a topic which is doable in that time frame. Um, since like I have said before in my program, it's two, or two years of coursework. Um, so there is no research as such happening. Um, and then the exams and prospectus writing for the third year. And then in the final year, final two years, uh, third and uh, fourth and sorry, fourth and fifth year, I will be actually working on my thesis. So will my topic be uh, it should not be that fast that I cannot finish it in those two years because I'll have to re do my research as well as write the thesis. Um, so it should not be super narrow that there is no research done at all um, to get any material out of because I have done that in the past and that was difficult for one project. Um, so I have realized that especially in a PhD you need to strike that balance. Uh, of course you don't, PhD is about producing new knowledge um, either you discover something i know people um, i know friends who are um, in stem departments they are trying to invent medicinal cures for cancer and other such things um, so either you produce um, new knowledge or you work on something which has already been done from a new angle from a new lens from a different perspective um, so while choosing, I mean, personally, my experience has been that I knew I wanted to work um, on gender and on feminist literature. Um, but initially I started off with travel literature and then I realized, I mean, my master's thesis was on um, travel literature, uh, the intersection of gender, travel and space. So I thought I would continue that. But then I realized over the course of writing my application, writing my um, proposals and my statement of purposes that that's not what I want to work on and so over the course then I picked up a particular author and I thought I'd work on her then I realized that I want to broaden my horizons um, and not just I mean people do that do it do that um, and but I thought maybe I would want to explore more authors um, so yeah and then I had to decide which country or which era I wanted to pick and so this is even choosing a PhD topic is actually a journey in itself um, and if you want to apply to the US you don't directly um, of course while applying you have to 
let the committee know to the admissions office that what you exactly want to work on. Um, but again, it's not a hard and fast rule when you take courses. Uh, you might be interested in something else. You get, you know, you get drawn to something else during your coursework, and then you can change your trajectory. There is nobody is going to. <laughs> Um, sue you for writing something on your application and then deciding to do something after the two years. Again, if you want to get into a PhD program, it's of course for research. Um, but even before getting into your research, even be before getting into a program, research uh, before doing beforehand um, is very important. You have to research a lot, study a lot, and then come up with a topic. I think nobody comes up with a specific topic overnight. That's not how research works. So it is about reading up a lot, reading up current events that are happening in the field of your research, pioneering research works that have happened, like, you know, people that have written about it. Um, so I would suggest that the first step is, of course, to do your own research um, about your topic. Uh, about texts you want to work on, about authors, um, about theorists, um, and then you should proceed on going to, um, even if, even especially when you're applying to university, then looking up profiles of professors, um, look up their CVs. What have they been working on? What have they presented on? Um, read up those articles, read up, read up their books, um, and then try to figure out where you find that um, middle ground where both your interests align. So that's one very important thing that I would suggest. Again, the process of PhD is very different in India and the US. Um, sometimes professors want to work on a specific project, like I said, even in the humanities, um, they are comfortable with a certain area and they want their students to um, you know, work on in that area. So sometimes you choose what, not what you want, but what your professor wants. Um, but again, that can vary. Uh, I have seen where um, where students end up doing something not op very opposite to what they wanted, but what they did something which their professors or which their mentors, supervisors wanted. Um, so that is. Um, that experience is very different depending on where you are doing your PhD and in which university and in which program. Um, having said that, another aspect of the PhD application is also that you should have somebody in the program um, who is willing to work with you. So do reach out, do reach out to professors asking for their advice, asking for their opinions. Um, if your particular interests align with them, um, ask them if they would want to work with you, ask them if they can provide any advice, um, at least in the application stage. Um, so your topic, of course, you have all the freedom to choose what do you want to work on, um, depending on the program again. Um, but it's also important for you to find a professor whose research some or somewhat aligns with your interests so that they can guide you so that you get accepted to the program for example um even in very sometimes in very good programs there might not be a professor who is um in who there might not be a professor who works in the field that you work on um so that it doesn't make sense for you to apply to that program if there is nobody that you could work in the future with. Um, so I would suggest that, of course, the topic is important, um, but also it's very important to find a professor who you would want to work with in the future. Um, for me, I came in here to work with one particular professor, um, and of course, I had my topic in mind, which has not changed till now, um, but that professor, um, had to leave i mean he he went to another university um so i anyways figured out after taking classes with him that maybe our our approaches were very different um so i anyways even though i had while coming i wanted to work with him um i did change my mind and i 
decided that I wanted to work with somebody else. So that also happens. So it's not a very rigid, it's not structured and it's not super rigid that you have to work on a specific topic, you have to work on with the specific professor. Mm, so while choosing your topics, these are some of the things that I would suggest that you should keep in mind. <laughs>